Hello friends, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so wait for everyone to get here and then we'll get started. I'm gonna go ahead and post my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup and the tools and everything I'm gonna use. Go ahead and pin that there. When you come on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. And then if you could click that share button in your bottom left hand corner, that's a huge help to me. And then if you could also, you're gonna see a little bar where there's like a heart, a mad face, a sad face, hug face. If you could just click one of those emojis while you're watching and just continual click, 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 click while I'm live, that's a huge bonus for me. So thank you guys in advance for helping my video out but i hope you guys are having a good monday so who watched the super bowl did everyone watch it or did no one watch it <laughs> i watched the the halftime show <laughs> i was a huge eminem fan growing up i mean i still am i guess so i was so excited to see him perform and i'm like living for all of the funny memes have you been watching all the memes like the one of 50 cent hanging upside down where it's like this is me plugging in my phone at the end of the night. <laughs> so funny. Hello, Alabama, New Jersey, Washington, South Carolina. I wonder if we could get all 50 states. I'm in California, so check. And we have South Carolina, we have New Jersey, we have Alabama, we have Washington, we have Louisiana, we have Iowa, Colorado. I should get a map. Massachusetts, Idaho. If you haven't seen your state yet and you're in a different state, comment it because I that would be so cool. New Mexico, check. Canada, we got we have the country of Canada, check. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. How's everyone's day going? Pennsylvania. So right now I'm gonna put on my foundation, MN. Montana? Minnesota. Missouri? I don't which, which one's MN? <laughs> Tennessee, Florida, MN. That's Montana, right? Or is that MO? Florida, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put on my liquid foundation. I'm gonna use it in the shade Lace today. I prefer to put it like directly on the skin. I feel like it wastes less when you're doing it this way rather than putting it on your brush and then it like seeps through and it could just waste a little extra product. Ohio, Spain. Okay, we've got the country Spain. Thanks for being here, you guys. Michigan, awesome. All right, so putting on our liquid foundation. I chose to do this because Ryan and I are gonna go out to dinner later on tonight so when i ever whenever i'm like doing something later i like to use my serum plus foundation because it has a 12 hour hold and i don't have to touch it up later so i know i can put my makeup on now and i know it's gonna look good in 12 hours minnesota oh got it got it got it michigan's here chicago virginia all right where else i think we're missing new york we're missing oregon Minnesota. Where else are we missing? Missing Arizona. Missing Nevada. Virginia, Ohio. All right, so putting on our Serum Plus foundation. And again, we're wearing it in the shade Lace and holy moly, how good is that coverage? Yes, I will definitely color match you for this foundation. So this is one layerish of our Serum Plus. Isn't this incredible? Illinois, awesome, got another one. Um, this Texas, the great state of Texas. Um, so this foundation, you guys, every time I put this on, I'm like blown away at how fast it hides your dark circles, hides your blemishes, hides any discoloration, and just simply makes you look and feel like a porcelain doll. Like you don't feel like you're wearing a mask. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey or nothing like that. It is extremely buildable and breathable, and it also has ingredients in it that prevent it from clogging your pores. Yeah, Nevada in the house, West Virginia, Wyoming, awesome. Kansas, okay, cool. Man, we got, did we get all, no, we don't have all 50. Which one are we missing? Arizona, we're missing Arizona. Indiana, Oklahoma, awesome. You guys better be from these places. You're like just making it up as you go. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, and I'm from North Carolina. 
North Carolina, Iowa. Awesome. Texas, of course. Where else are we missing? We're missing Maine. Maine is so small. I That'd be so cool if we had someone from Maine. San Diego, California. That's where I am too. Happy Valentine's Day. Does any, is anyone else going out to dinner? Ryan and I are going to head to the mall and shop a little bit for the new house. And then we're going to go out to dinner. I think we're going to go to P.F. Chang's. <laughs> we're not... It's funny because we're like, we were laughing that we don't even want to go to like a steakhouse. We're just like, I just want to like eat a good meal with no kids. Arizona, yay. Maine, oh, awesome. We do have someone from Maine. The UK, awesome. Got the country of the UK in the house. Houston, Texas, Louisiana. Man, I should have got a map out. Now I'm like, did we get all 50? I'm really bad at geography, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who we're missing. <laughs> New York's in the house. Awesome. Who else? Missouri. How could you forget about Missouri? I feel like Ozark definitely put Missouri on the map. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> right? Ozark, Missouri. The Ozarks. Canada. All right. So here we have on that full first layer, you guys. And I always like to go over it, as you saw, with like a little bit more. And then I go with the blending buds over it. So... The reason why I do kind of like two coats, if you will, with that is because it's going to compress the makeup down into place and really just overall make your makeup look super, super like soft on the skin. So if you ever are putting on your foundation, and you're like, I feel like my makeup just sitting on my skin and, and or makes your pores really accentuated. The blending buds are going to be a huge, huge game changer. Use the search bar because they're in a weird area on our website to type in these. Just type in bud, B-U-D, and you'll see it on there. But that was the Serum Plus Foundation. This foundation also has flower extract, has sodium hyaluronic in it. All these really, really good ingredients that help to hydrate your skin and overall plump your skin and give you more radiant clear skin delaware awesome cool um so overall if you had to choose one foundation this should be it for all skin types whether you have dry skin oily skin doesn't matter it looks phenomenal nebraska awesome oh two nebraskas colorado that's who we were missing colorado who else are we missing what about um utah i haven't seen any utah Okay, so now, <laughs> that comment's really funny. Um, okay, so now, awesome, Diana. Welcome to the team, girl. All right, so now for concealer, I'm going to use my Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Lace. So although I wore the same color in the foundation and the concealer, see how the concealer still looks really like it shines through. The concealer runs a little bit lighter than the foundation, so you can use the same shade and it still will look um, like it pops. Crispy green beans. Ooh, that sounds amazing. I don't know, Cheryl. Well, thank you for being here regardless. Alaska. Oh, in Hawaii, technically. <laughs> Buffalo. Utah in the house. All right, Utah's checked um we yep you're right we're missing uh hawaii and alaska oh goodness every blue moon a troll really gets like a whoo hold on trying to block and delete that comment whew. all right anywho new york yeah oh rhode island we're missing rhode island missing new hampshire you guys if you know people in these states you need to tag them in the comments <laughs> Be like, we need you. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. Yuck. Whew. That is too much for Valentine's Day, people. Staying and cooking it good. Ooh, nice. Yummy. Okay. So now, once our concealer is on, so another reason that I love the concealer. Not only does it provide amazing coverage, but this also really is the best concealer that you can ever use because it has caffeine in it and it has the same ingredients that our eye cream does and our, oh, gosh, threw that and I almost hit my throat, and our Uplift Beauty Oil. So not only are you getting good coverage, but you're also healing dark circles, healing fine lines and wrinkles, crow's feet, and you're getting phenomenal full coverage on your under eye. It's going, it's not going to be like that concealer that crepes up and accentuates those 
those areas underneath your eye. It is phenomenal at getting that really solid coverage underneath your eye, but it also is so, so, so healing. Uh, let's see. North oh, Kentucky. We are missing Kentucky. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to set our makeup. So we're going to make sure it lasts really long. Yay, Wisconsin. We are missing Wisconsin too. Where else are we missing? Now I want to really pull up my, my map to see. Trolls are out on Valentine's Day. Yep. That reminds me of this joke where they're like, trolls need loving too. <laughs> Not today. It was filled up by choice. That's funny. Yes, the Uplift Beauty Oil is amazing. That's what is that product that is nicknamed Botox in a bottle. Um, that is a really, really, really good product because it heals fine lines and wrinkles like that. It's It really lives up to its name, which um, if you missed it, it's nicknamed Botox in a bottle. Okay, so see this blemish right here? It's really lovely blemish. We've put foundation, we've put concealer, and it's still poking through. Um, it's fresh. So here's how to like hide that and like put it away. Um, like make it finally go away is this guy right here. This is the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. I have it on a dry beauty blender and I spritz it with my setting spray. And now we're going to put it on top of there. This not only is going to help to disguise and... Um, minimize the appearance of pores but also it is the best blemish hider because it can like it uh constricts that area so it can be drying if you have dry skin however you don't have to use it like this you can use it in a dusting manner taking any kind of tapered brush and dust it onto that area will also set it um but this is phenomenal at really kind of like finally like hiding that area no i saw florida we're not missing florida Georgia. Oh, good. We haven't seen a Georgia. I'm trying to think where else. Where else haven't I seen? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. Ohio. Awesome. Uh, so fanned that away, any excess. And now we're going to go in with our pressed powder. So our pressed powder is another one of those products that is so incredibly healthy for your skin. It not only is going to set your makeup. So think of like when you spill liquid on the floor. You either absorb it with a paper towel or you can put like a powder on top of it, which would also absorb, right? Pressed powder acts like that too with your liquid foundations. So you're going to pop it on and it's going to set the area. Alabama or Miss Oh, no, I don't think I've seen a Mississippi. I saw an Alabama earlier though. All right, so we're going to pop this on using a big giant kabuki brush. This is my favorite way to apply my pressed powder because it's going to... Apply it very evenly and very lightly on the skin. So again, one of our key ingredients in our pressed powder, our liquid foundation, our concealer is an ingredient that prevents it from clogging your pores. So you don't have to be worried that, oh gosh, I can't layer foundations and I can't layer a liquid with a pressed powder or anything like that. It, you can, absolutely, because these products are breathable and allow your skin and allow your pores to breathe. It doesn't clog your skin. I don't keep my skincare in a fridge, no. Mm -mm. You can, though, if you want. It doesn't make it, like, work faster. Um, but if you struggle with redness or large pores, it is beneficial to put your skincare in a fridge. I saw Kansas. I don't know if I saw Arkansas. I feel like I did, though. Oh, yeah, Arkansas is here. I knew I saw you, Debbie. All right, so now for bronzer, we're going to use our Beachfront Bronzer, and the shade Sunset is still available. And honestly, this is one of the easiest bronzers to contour with because of how light it is on the skin. It's not a heavy, drowning, muddy contour. It has a almost like an iridescent to it, so it acts as a bronzer contour all-in-one. And what you want to do is you just tap your brush in, swirl into the cap, tap, 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 go from the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth. Now, I haven't said this too much this live, but if you do want to be color matched for this makeup, if you haven't tried this foundation, you haven't tried this concealer yet, comment color match down below, and I'll be so happy to help get you a full recommendation on what products and what colors you should use. I haven't taken my collagen, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks, girlfriend. I did take it yesterday, though. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now do our forehead, which... 
honestly the forehead is the most like crazy thing when you're contouring because it really makes such a huge difference not only does it make your makeup match so much better but it really brings out the center of your face and really makes that area pop and like i said it makes your makeup match so much better i have not seen a south dakota i saw montana i didn't see washington dc let's see do we have any from dc here and i haven't seen anyone from rhode island no so if you know anyone in those states, tag them in the comments. <laughs> we need their, their check-in to complete our 50 state challenge that we self-appointed ourselves. <laughs> okay, so now for blush, we're gonna do our pressed blush in the shade Sisterly. And yes, I did see someone from Wyoming. And this is my favorite color, especially on Valentine's Day. It has a really pretty iridescent sheen to it. So it's very complimenting with our bronzer, but it also is going to illuminize our cheek structure and add a really pretty, um, like a flush color to our skin. So we don't look washed out. We don't look too pale and it is so soft on the skin. Yay, Alabama and Ohio. Um, so it's very, very flattering on and Oregon. Awesome. And this is the setting, you read my mind, Maria, the setting powder brush. This is my favorite brush to apply blush because it applies it so softly. It is so flexible and the bristles are super, super soft. It's amazing. North Dakota. Awesome. Do we have South Dakota? Are those different states? I don't know. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love that. You're welcome. I'm loving it. Third week in on her collagen and she's getting compliments on her skin from her gym ladies. You're the best. Thank you for giving them my website. You're so sweet. Awesome, Pam. I will message you for a color match. So for a color match, all I need from you is a selfie facing a window. So you can either message me by clicking on the blue and uh, white box here in the bottom left hand corner or you can say color match and I will private message you to get you a full recommendation. Um, so what that entails is I basically will tell you all the colors that you are in our foundation and our products. Not to tell you and not to overwhelm you, um, this is everything you need, but that way, so if you're ever on my website or watching a tutorial and you're like, man, I really wanna try that concealer. I wish I knew what color I was. Now you have your full list. So you know what colors you are in all the products. Oh, I love it. I just want to tell you that your color matches for me and all seasons have been 100% spot on. That makes me so happy. Yay. And thank you for trusting me and getting color matched. All right. So what I put on just now is the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. It's a fancy pants word for highlight. So what this does is it really illuminizes your cheek structure, bridge and tip of the nose, Cupid's bow. You can really pop this wherever, but it's very, very pretty and it's very like gleamy. It looks really nice being photographed as well. All right. So now for eyebrows, we're going to do the brow sculpting pencil. So as I was talking to you guys earlier about our foundation and concealer and how healing they are for your skin, the same thing goes for this pencil. So those products have ingredients in it that are similar to our um, are in our skincare, like the same ingredients. So they're going to be healing for your skin while you wear it. The brow pencil that I'm about to use this is called the brow sculpting pencil. So this has argan oil, keratin, biotin, and vitamin E infused in it. So it helps your brow hair to grow and to become healthier and fluffier and fuller while you're wearing it. So I love that about it. I also really love how easy it is to use. It's very, it's like pigmented in all the best ways. And then it also has this little brush attached to it. So when you fill it in, then you'll go back through and then you'll comb through to blend this all out. Yes, the collagen is on my website. I'm going to take here mine in a second. I've been using it since it launched. And you guys, this has been the most amazing product I've ever used. Not only is it helping my adult acne like vanish, this is honestly like the first pimple I've had in weeks. And that makes me so relieved and happy. That was something I was always struggling with since I hit 30 was all of a sudden acne coming out of from who knows where. Um, so the collagen has helped with that. I also have psoriasis really bad in this is honestly the clearest my skin has been in years. So it's also been really helping with, um, with my psoriasis. If you have eczema, rosacea, redness, dry skin, 
loss of hair due to COVID, loss of hair due to aging. Um, it really helps with that. So if you haven't started your collagen yet, I cannot recommend it enough. It also does have our love it guarantee. So if you don't love it for any reason, you can return it for your money back. It's a marine based collagen. So it's the closest to, um, to our natural bodies collagen that it already produces. So when you take it, which it also has a 90% absorption rate compared to other brands who only have a 38 absorption rate. So you're absorbing and using a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of what you put inside. Um, not to mention each packet has 5,000 milligrams of collagen in it. So it is so much. It is phenomenal, you guys. Again, if you haven't tried it yet. And you don't have to do the subscription. You can get it by itself too, but to save money, you um, if you do the subscription, you get $10 off and free shipping. Botox in a bottle is called the Uplift Beauty Oil. It is phenomenal. You'll use it at night, putting it all over. Yeah, I'm so happy to help color match you for your, your tan months. And that goes for everybody. If you have your winter color of your foundation, we're heading into spring and summer. Thank goodness. I'm like over winter at this point. Um, message me and let's get you figured out for what colors you should wear in your summertime. Okay, so now, sorry, my nose itches. So now for eyeshadow, we're going to do a pretty Valentine's Day eyeshadow. And now we're going to go in with our eyeliner in the shade Perfect. And pop this on the waterline. And this is my favorite eyeliner because it actually stays on. It doesn't build up in your tear ducts. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't give you raccoon eyes. Um, I do think you can use my website on Sizzle. Yes. Marine is fish. So most, not most collagens, some collagens are made with uh, chicken cartilage or animal cartilage which is so gross. <laughs> and then some collagen is made with, um, I believe it's biovin, bovin, which might be the chicken cartilage one. And then there's fish car or fish, fish cartilage, fish collagen, which is what ours is made of. Um, but if you want to read like in depth about all the ingredients in the collagen, I love how transparent unique is on it. I actually was doing a comparison of us compared to some other collagens and I was like a little bit freaked out about how difficult it was to find out what was in company's collagen. Like you couldn't find it. It wasn't available to tell you. And ours unique is like, here we are. <laughs> Five minutes from cow. Thank you. I knew it was a different animal. Um, which is so gross. Cow hooves, I think it is. Uh, so anyway, ours is made of fish. The nice fish. Fish are friends. Uh, so that's always nice. I think that, I don't know, I would much rather eat fish than cow hooves, but teach their own. Okay, so now for eyes. We're going to do a really pretty valentine's day pinky eyeshadow look the first color we're going to go in with is understood it's this really really pretty matte pink um how are the new girls doing i don't know how are our new girls doing girls they're watching for the first time today um yes link to the hotties yes i will absolutely send you the link to the collagen and the botox for sure yes everything i'm speaking about is unique Um, for the collagen, absolutely. The collagen is going to be a huge, huge, huge help with preventing hair loss from aging and or COVID and or COVID, um, whatchamacallits, like your, not results, side effects. Couldn't think of that word. All right. So we're taking the shade understood and we're going to pop this into the crease and onto, onto the brow bone. So this is one of my favorite shades because of how light and pretty it is. It's so gorgeous, especially for spring and summertime. So for this month, every month we have like a different special. This month, the February special is your choice of eyeshadow palette. So you get to pick your colors for your palette. And this color is a shade understood. And we're using it on top of the fluffy crease brush. And I'm just using this into the outer corner, doing my little swirls and then bringing it back in through the brow bone, just like this. The brow pencil was called the brow sculpting pencil. And I used it in the shade brown. 
and you can actually check out the brow sculpting pencil on sale in the other special. So that's what I was getting at. We have two deals on my website. One is called the Eye Essential Bundle. I would just type it in and or look in the little hamburger, the three little lines, and you'll see it on there. I'll also give you the link to it in the comments. Um, but the Eye Essential Bundle comes with your choice of mascara, your choice of eyeliner, and your choice of liquid eyeshadow. Um, you could do an eyeliner or you could do the brow pencil. And then the February special is your choice of your palette, uh, your choice of eyeliner or the dip and draw liner, your choice of lip gloss colors, and then you can upgrade it to include a lip liner and a mascara. So you can get everything for lips and eyes. So good. All right, so now that you have the shade understood really well blended in, just like that, now I'm gonna switch and grab this color right here, which is earthy. It's gonna be a little bit more of a mauve grayish purple color. And we're gonna go in and use this a little bit lower because we don't wanna overpower that really light pink color we did. We're essentially kind of blending backwards. So we're gonna focus this color on that outer edge and then the eyelid area. Um, did you guys get a window dilemma? No, not yet. We have our contractor. He said he was gonna call somebody on Monday to see if there is any other option for us. Otherwise, we are waiting until June, I guess. I'm praying. <laughs> so we'll see. But I was gonna head to the new house tomorrow. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. And I'll give you guys a new updated tour of what's going on in the house. I feel like every time I go now, like starting now, I feel like there's going to be huge differences and huge strides. Because all the, all the not fun work is done. Like the electric, the plumbing, like the, you know, drywall, all of the, all the boring stuff to watch is done. So now for Earthy, we're going to pop in both. Do you ever use both? Both of the bundles I'm talking about? If, if that is, then yes, I'm actually going to use both today. All right, so now we have Earthy, which again, we kind of use that dark color down a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Nonsensical. This is one of my favorite colors, you guys. It is a little bit more uh, of a deeper color than earthy and I love it about that because it's going to add a little bit of depth to the eye which is always really flattering and now for this part I'm going to use my eye shield so I get a really nice sharp cat eye with that and then same thing on this side <coughs> excuse me and then you're just going to kind of pop this color in the outside corner and I'll give you guys the link to the, the eye shield in the comments. And the color that I'm using now is the shade Nonsensical. And if you need any help picking out your eyeshadow colors, just comment what color eyes you have. So if you need an eyeshadow recommendation, comment like brown eye eyeshadow or blue eye eyeshadow. If whatever that case may be, and I will private message you a full recommendation on what shadows to choose in this special that we have going on. All right, so now that we have that on, now I'm going to take the star of the show, but first I kind of went a little cray cray with my color right here. Hold on. All right. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yes, we will still have the huge backyard area. Absolutely. All right. So now the star of the show. And then like I was saying about the eye essential bundle. So the eye essential bundle comes with your choice of liquid eyeshadow. The February special comes with your choice of eyeshadow palette. So to get this look, I would absolutely recommend to get both bundles because it's the best way to save money. And so I'm going to take the eye essential, or I'm sorry, the liquid eyeshadow in the shade reverent. And I'm going to pop this on to the lid of the eye sticking towards the front and the mid of the eye and then I'm going to use my cream shadow brush to blend this out and back like so and we're just like tapping this on just like that and the liquid eyeshadows you guys are amazing they are completely smudge proof completely transfer proof completely they will not move they stay right in place so if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles if you have really oily eyelids 
or if you just have trouble with your eyeshadow staying, this is the product you want to get. Again, these are called the liquid eyeshadows and there's a ton of colors to choose from. And this is the color Reverent. If you have hooded eyes or really small eyes, I highly recommend these products, the liquid eyeshadows, because they are pigmented and they really draw the attention to the eye without overpowering your eye. So really, really good product for you. So pretty. So I'm gonna pop this on. And then cream brush. I know the liquid shadows are seriously amazing. Okay, so now that you have Reverend on, now I'm gonna blend. The more you blend, the better it looks. So when I blend, I'm gonna take a new fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna grab that shade understood, which was that pretty pink. And this is the color I'm gonna use to blend because it's a really light color. So although it's adding color, it's adding a really pretty pink sheen, which is always pretty. And then I'm gonna take my darker color, just hit that a little bit. So definitely make sure when you are grabbing your uh, brushes, your fluffy crease brushes, I'd get a couple of them. All right, now I'm gonna take the liner side of my liner shader brush and grab the color Nonsensical again and underline my lower lash line with this. Just like so. And this will help to kind of give it like a cohesive finish look. See the difference? Click the little thumbs up if you see a difference. It is really important to do this step. And it makes it really easy when you use this brush. It's called the Liner Shader Brush. And it's a huge bonus too because it has uh, the deluxe side, which is this, which makes it easy to do your lid shade too if you're doing um, not a liquid. But pretty, right? Now I'm gonna take an empty brush and we're going to just swish over this area and just soften this color up, soften the edge. Yeah, definitely. Okay, now we're gonna set our makeup. So I swear by setting my makeup before I put on my mascara, and the reason is, it's just gonna prevent my mascara from being wet and causing it to transfer or smudge. So doing it this way will help to not only prep and prime my lashes for my mascara, because now we have our setting spray on our lashes, but it also is gonna really prevent it from transferring later. So thinking smarter, not harder. Or harder, not smarter. You get what I'm saying. Now we're gonna let it dry. And I almost forgot to do the last eyeshadow color, which was optimistic on my, op uh, on my uh, crease brush and pop this on the inner corner just really quickly. Just like that. <laughs> nice, Ashley, that's awesome. All right, I thought you said I've been day drinking. I was like, no, I have not. <laughs> it's Monday, but you do you, boo. Have a good time for both of us. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our mascara. And the first things first is the lash primer. So I always say it's a crime not to prime and that goes for your lashes too. So this is gonna be really important for getting your lashes to just look so long and healthy. Also helps to prevent it from transferring if you have oily eyes or oily eyelids um, and you struggle with your mascara ending up all over the place. This will help to hold on to it as well. So base a lash all the way up and just give it like one nice good coat. And then once you've done that, now we can go in with my favorite mascara. This is called the Twisted Mascara. This has argan oil, keratine, and biotin infused in it. So this is actually going to help your lashes grow while you're wearing it. It also has the most intentional bristle brush. So it gives you the best separation to your lashes, your lashes never look clumpy or chunky or anything like that. It is so good. 
and it's really, really easy to use because the bristle brush isn't super gigantic. So if you have really small lashes or really small eyes, it's really beneficial because you won't get mascara like all over the place. It also has a little mechanism in the tube that prevents it from getting too much product. Have you ever took a mascara wand out and you have to like wipe a ton of it off? You shouldn't have to do that with this mascara because of that little mechanism in there. So I love that because it also helps your mascara last even longer. One tube of mascara will last me anywhere from five to seven months, which is insane. And that's with like almost everyday use. Okay, another cool feature about this is one, I'm actually gonna do another coat. One, you could do as many coats as you want and it will never look chunky or spider leggy. And two, if you put it back in, now hold the silver portion and then twist. You get this teeny tiny little wand, which is perfect for reaching those harder to reach eyelashes or the bottom lash line. And now this is the only mascara that I will use on my bottom lash line because it won't smudge or smear all over. So highly recommend this mascara. You can get this mascara on sale two different ways. One, by ordering the Eye Essential Bundle or two, ordering the February Special and upgrading. So, so many different ways to save money. And then, because it's Valentine's Day and why not, I'm gonna use my 4D mascara and apply this from the outside corners and just get some va va boom going on. And this is the mascara that has the fibers infused in it. But look at how pretty that liquid eyeshadow really shines, right? I love it. All right, for lips, we're gonna go kind of fun. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner in the shade Poised, which is a really pretty, like a, like a purpley pink. And we're going to outline and color in. And the reason we're gonna color in is because, yay, thanks Christine for sharing the love, I really appreciate you, is because it's gonna alter the color of our lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and color all the way in. Isn't this such a pretty color? It's the color poise of the lip liner. Okay. Once that's all colored in, here's a napkin. There's nothing on my napkin. I'm telling you, it is smudge proof. <laughs> These lip liners are incredible. I can finally show you guys because I feel like the nude, you'd be like, mm, maybe a nude color and just doesn't come off that great. That is one bright color and it's not coming off you guys so if you have had your doubts about these lip liners i'm telling you grab them all right now i'm going to line my lips with the lipstick in well to do and blend that in click the face if you're impressed by that I love that. I went to the dentist with only my lip liner and after the dentist is still all there. That's great. Okay. Isn't that a pretty color? All right. And then we're going to top it with our lip gloss in the shade Liked. This is a limited edition color. You can get it by itself or you can get it on sale in the February special. and it's a gorgeous high gloss. So fun. 
And there we have it. This like fun kind of uh, mauvey, pinky, nudie color. And a trick to get, make sure no lip gloss or lipstick or whatever get on, get on your teeth. You can take your finger and do this. And anything that came off, that's what would have been on your teeth. So there is a full glam makeup look. So that is too much. Um, if you're wanting a an easy breezy makeup look, I have those too. So feel free to catch any of these tutorials on the replay uh, by just going to my page here on Facebook, which if you search Ray Hope and then you go to my page and you search the video section, I have all kinds of tutorials listed all over. Um, the lip gloss was a shade light. You can get it in the February special. And then the lip liner we used was the shade was the shade poised, which you can also get on sale in the February special. You're just going to upgrade to include a lip liner and a mascara and then the palette. So, um, please send me a message here on Facebook. If you guys need any help picking out your makeup, um, or anything, and I'd be so happy to help you. I hope you all have a beautiful Valentine's day and I'll see you guys over on Instagram for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.